Hey, what's going on, social media family? Hope everybody is having a really, really good day. I want to share a word with you that recently uh, the Lord gave me, and I presented it to our church Sunday, and it was uh, the word really helped uh, a lot of people. And it was a full message, but I just want to give you the, the short prophetic word that I based the whole message off of. But recently we were in a time of corporate prayer, and I just heard out of the blue from the Lord, blind faith. And I said, okay, blind faith. And so I just really started praying into the word blind faith. I know what the word blind means. Cannot see, no visual direction in any way. You can't see where you're going. I know what faith means, okay? You know what faith means. So as I was praying and the Lord said blind faith, I just kept praying. It's like I saw myself in a vision inside of a cement-like cell, ceiling, walls, everything. And the Lord said, this is where a lot of people feel that they are right now. They're praying, reading, you may be tithing, giving offering, serving, helping, but you feel like you got just a cement or cylinder cement block wall just around you. You can't, I mean, that's how you feel like in prayer. That's what the Lord showed me. And the Lord said, can you move forward when this is what you feel like? And I'm going to tell you, when the Lord showed me that, it, it was a hopelessness. The, the ceiling was right above the head. The walls was close. It was just like a cement wall. The Lord said, can you move forward in this? Can you continue to move in the direction I've called you to, even if you can't see what's right in front of you? You got to think about this. When Peter asked Jesus, you know, if this is you, call to me and I will step out of the boat. Peter didn't look down to find any steps, to find a bridge. Blind faith, he stepped out on the word of Jesus. Uh, when I was younger and I'd preach to, to kids in youth groups and youth conferences a lot, I, I would always ask them this question. I, I would say the biggest cuss word <laughs> in the Christian language is the word how, H-O-W. How am I going to do this vision I can't see it coming to pass. That's why it's a prophetic word. When God gives you something, you can get bogged down by trying to figure out how is it going to work? How is it going to come to pass? God will always bring you an answer, okay? Blind, the definition of blind faith actually means having complete confidence in something or something without any reason to do so. I mean, there's no reason to believe in something, but you have complete confidence in it. Hebrews 11 and 1, Now faith brings our hope into reality and becomes the foundation needed to acquire the things we long for. It is all the evidence required to prove what is still unseen. Okay? Okay. Now, faith brings our hopes into reality and becomes the foundation needed. You need a foundation, okay? I remember when I was young in the charismatic movement, people like Shambach would say stuff like, God said it, that settles it. That's it. That's it. God said it, that settles it. It is all the evidence required to prove what is still unseen, you got to understand that. Um, you need to learn that we have to act like a true child of God. See, the thing is, we like to say that we're a true child of God, but do, do we walk like a child of God? Do we talk like a child of God? Do we act like a child of God? Do we prosper like a child of God? I see people who say that they're children of God and they have faith 
but yet they never put their faith to the test. You don't know if you have faith until it is tested. You know? You, you got to understand that a lot of people say they walk in faith, but whenever times get rough, they pull back, which will show you that your faith is really not that strong. So how, how do you get your faith strong? Bill Johnson used to say, when we build history with God, God will then be able to build history through us, okay? And so I remember one time I was talking to one of my buddies and he told me that he had this uh, zealous young man come into his church and they were doing some real powerful deliverance ministry, healing, prophetic ministry. And this guy was just real zealous and all. And he, uh, he asked this young man, he said, tell me what you've been through. Well, what do you mean? Like, like, what have you been through in life? Tell, tell me some hard situations. This guy came from a very well-to-do family, which was a blessing. He's had an easy life. He's, you know, just kind of had it easy. And nothing wrong with that at all. It's great. But he's never been through anything. So the guy said, I don't think this is for you. And so he, he wanted to go. And he said, the kid got scared. The kid said, I've, I've never... Everything I've ever had going in my life, I could ask my parents and they could solve. And my friend said, that's a blessing, young man. But real faith is when you get healed of an incurable disease. Something happens for your family that God had to do it. God spared you from a horrific accident, situation, circumstance. And and this young man, and, and he said, I... I've never had faith tested. So we got to have faith that has been tested, been through it. Someone called me recently and they were telling me it's a problem they were going through. And I said, oh, that's okay. I've been through that like five times. They're like, really? I said, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. You'll be good. They're like, okay. So they borrowed my confidence and attributed that to their faith in God. And they got through the situation. Okay. Give me, give me another scripture. Psalms 139, 16. You saw who you created me to be before I, I even was. Before I'd ever seen the light of day, you numbered the days and planned for me to have it. You already recorded them in your book. He's already got, got your life planned. He's given you gifts, talents, and abilities. Walk in those and have faith in him to continue to walk you through every process because you know, Jeremiah 1, five. you know, before you were in your mother's womb, he already called you and ordained you and anointed you to do something and to be something, okay? Hebrews 11.6, and without faith, it is impossible to please him and whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. I like that. Okay, Psalms uh, 137, 130, verse 7. O Israel, keep hoping, keep trusting, and keep waiting on the Lord, for he is tenderhearted, kind, and forgiving, and he has a thousand ways to set you free. Did you know our Heavenly Father has a thousand ways for you to have breakthrough, for you to have freedom? Oh, we... Well, by saying that, you, you got to go by 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we live by faith, not by what we see with our eyes. And so you got to understand well, when the scripture says his ways are higher than our ways, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts, that's true. When, when God says move in a direction and a mountain standing in front of us, you got to remember Psalms 97, 5, mountains, milk, like wax in the presence of the Lord. He'll get you through it. He'll get you over it, underneath it, around it, something when there's a pothole, you're going, you're going to go through it. You're going to go around it. You're going to go over it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. We got to have faith. 
If God called you to start a ministry and it's suffering right now, it's going to be okay. If God called you to start a business and it's suffering right now, it's going to be okay. If God gave you a spouse and you know that spouse was ordained from the Lord, you know if things aren't going good, listen, it's going to be okay. Just pray and fast and keep moving forward, all right? So if you need prayer, you can go to the website, jojodawson.net, go to the contact button, hit the button, and send me a prayer request. I want to pray for you because I want to join my faith with yours. So and in blind faith, you will continue to move forward and do everything God has called you to do. Love you guys.